It is sunny outside today, guys. It is almost 20 degrees out there. Um, I'm gonna go and play golf this afternoon and I want you guys to look good as well. So another episode of Thursday Threads for you. And we have got two very style conscious brands on the lineup today. We've got the very bold bunker mentality and then we've got the very clean and classic look of the Oscar Jacobson. So we're gonna start with Bunker Mentality. Um, I actually went to see them uh, a couple of weeks ago and did a little interview with them, had a look around their, their head office or their sort of um, warehouse and where everything happens, where they designed and met the guys as well. And that was really interesting. Now I filmed a little interview with them, sort of talking about where they see the company going in the future, what they're up to and stuff like that, and, and everything to do with Bunker Mentality. So if you wanna see that, um, I will leave a link um, up there somewhere and down there, so just click that um, and that will take you to that and you can go watch that as well. But let's go. So like I was saying, very fashion conscious, sort of style conscious, these, um, these two companies, um, but in both in very different ways. Now, let's talk about the sort of, the generalness to start with, um, and then we'll get into a little bit more detail about sort of each item I've got. Obviously, as I said, I went to see uh, Bunker Mentality. They gave me a few products to review. Now, like I said, colorful, bold, um, unapologetically bold, apparently, um, that's their thing, and you can tell that, that with their stuff, very bold colors, but also very nice, and they do do some colors that are, obviously they make black tops, I've got a black one here and stuff like that, but it's just the, the little details about bunker mentality that uh, are really nice. Anyway, so polo tops. So first of all, we'll run through what um, they use in their polos, and then we'll go through a couple of the stars to show you what they do as well. So they use uh, C-Max technology, which is a high performance polyester basically. It's gonna be fairly light, it's wicking, so it's gonna take that sweat away from you. Also gives you um, UV protection as well. Um, and just a nice sort of stretchy, good performing material that is um, also good to look at. So this is their bold stripe top. Um, now, I would say Bunker Mentality personally is like um, they're anonymous with this sort of colour. So the three stripes there and the sort of the pink, the blue and the navy, I'd say that's their colourway. Um, anytime you see that, I instantly think Bunker Mentality. So this is a nice bold piece. Um, got their, their three stripes there and it's got it obviously pink detailing on the on the cuff there, cuff, this isn't a cuff, collar, that's the word I was looking for. Um, and again, you know I'm a huge fan of tags and they do a nice rubber tag in here, um, which doesn't rub or anything like that. So that is, I would say, um, if I were to describe bunker mentality on one top, I'd say that is their top. Now, fit wise, I've got a couple in small and I've got a couple in extra small. They do do extra small. They have a, a, a bit of a market in Japan, so extra small sales quite well over there. Now, fit wise around the top, the extra small is perfect for me. It's everything I'd ever want it to be. Um, I would just prefer it to be a slightly little bit longer. Um, if you don't tuck polos in, because some people don't, then this is like the perfect length. Um, if you do tuck them in, then sometimes, unless if you've got the trousers that have the rubber around, um, so you, your polo don't slip up and down, then this is perfect. If you don't have that, sometimes this probably will slide out a little bit. It is a tad longer um, at the back than it is at the front, but that is only a tiny little thing. Size and wise, the extra small fits perfect. The small, again, is the perfect length, but it's just a tiny little bit baggy for me, personally, because I like my clothes. Um, slightly tighter as you guys know so that is what i'd call their their staple top i think that is the one that everyone recognizes moving on so same technologies in this one and um, this is the bright stripe now this actually i have to say is probably my favorite top um again we've got the splash of color we've got the yellow across there um do they do in they do do it in other colors i think yeah they do the bright stripe in other colors but this is um this is one of my favourites, I think. Um, obviously, you know, I like um, darker colours, I like black and white, but I do actually find this really nice. The stripe obviously carries around the 
the arm here, which is quite cool. Um, and then you've got that big flash across there. Really nice, very understated. Again, you've got the, the sort of the piping on the inside, but nothing on the outside. Colours work really well. This would go with, you know, a pair of black trousers, a pair of white trousers technically, a pair of grey trousers, anything you like. But that flash is the perfect mix for me in, um, you know, my sort of black and white style, but with a bit of colour as well. I will wear more colour in the summer, guys. See? I'm wearing a red jumper right now. It's very bright. So that is my favourite piece. Um, on there, you've got the bunker mentality across the chest as well. Uh, nothing on the sleeves, no, but you have it again branding on the back there as well. Bunker mentality across the back. So that's my favourite piece. Now a couple extra ones. Now this is this is the Duo Core, um, again, so this is black, more solid colours in this. They do like a black, they do a white, they do a, a blue as well. Now, I'm going to say this is probably my least favourite, which is bizarre because it's obviously the one colour. A couple of things that I'm not a fan of, as you know, poppers, and this is poppers on the top. Um, when they're done up it looks okay, but, I've got some fluff on that, um, it, look, it looks okay, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm just not a fan of poppers, but, you know, it gives that extra option if you want it. Now, that is something that sort of, you know, Bunker Mentality do quite well. They've got such a wide collection of colours and styles in their polos tops that you will probably find something that you like. Um, you may love all of it, you may only love a, a few select bits. This is just one, just because of the poppers, personally not a favourite. I'm a fan of the little pocket here. It's not a pocket though, just, you know, one of those fake pockets to make it look nice, but that's a nice little detail. Again, with the sort of the three striped um, detailing on there, and you've got sort of a red, orange, sort of colour scheme on this as well, on the inside of the collar um, and on the arm sleeves there as well. A little bit of elasticated so it does tighten up a little bit as well. And bunker mentality there and again, no, nope, I was about to say again on the back but no, just on the sleeve on that one. And last but not least you've got the jack. Again, another straight sort of bold colour. You've got, you can get this in black and other different colours. Slightly longer um, plaid here in the, in the buttons so it goes down a little bit further. Another extra little detail you could, you know, you either like or you don't. I kind of like it. Apparently it's quite popular with them and I can see why. Actually got a pocket here um, with the three pinstripe as well. Again on the inside and some branding on the shoulder and on the sleeve and that. So again, you know, got your bold colours, but it's, if, you, if you like one colour rather than tons of different colours, then that is a nice one for you. Now, like I said, they do tons and tons and tons of different polos. So definitely go and check their website out. They've got lots of, of different styles, you know, big block colors. They've got floral prints, lots of stripes, diagonal stripes, vertical stripes. So I think you'll probably find that there is definitely something for you there, uh, whether you like all of it or only a select few, but there's a lot to choose from. Now this is their tri-colour top. Now I actually did a review of this as one of my very first um, sort of Thursday thread reviews. It wasn't even a Thursday thread, so it was before that wasn't even invented. So if you want to see the full thing, a uh, full review of this, again, I will leave a, a link up there and down there. But I thought I'd mention it again. So fleece lined as well. So sort of more of a, um, an, an autumn top though. We're in England, so in the summer you could probably wear it. But it's fleece, fleece, fleece lined, there you go, can speak, um, lots of stretch, 360 degrees of stretch, so it's stretching it every direction. Again, you've got the sort of the tricolour banding across the collar, like I mentioned before, it's sort of a, a fairly stiff high collar, which is good for the winter, and again, you've got that on the cuffs as well, uh, and on the cuffs, it works quite well, nice and snug to keep you nice and warm. Um, again, nice, simple colour, you've got the branding across the zip, and again, on the back, but like I said, if you want to see a full review, Go in and click the link. And last but not least is the Cuba, with a K, um, jacket. Now this, again, could be worked, you know, could be a, a summer piece if it's a little chilly, um, but good in the winter. So it is, first of all, it's made up of a uh, three layers, basically. So you've got a fleece layer on the inside, You've got a shower proof, sort of water resistant um, outer, uh, and then there's a core that helps you keep you protected from the wind as well. So it's not waterproof, 
uh, it is weather resistant, so it's shower proof. So it will take a shower, it just won't take a full sort of um, downpour. Branding again across the cuff there, uh, along the line. Elasticated cuffs and elasticated um, hem on the bottom, which is really nice. And one thing I really do like on this, one, it's got good pockets. It's got one up here, a chest pocket. And again, it's got very good. I'm gonna do this up and show you. I'm a huge fan of the pockets on this. What, they're very big pockets to start with. And again, they're sort of angled, rather than being straight down, they're sort of angled across there, as you can see. So you've got all of this as a pocket. Hands fit in there quite nicely. If you're carrying a bag, they sort of fit in quite nicely and sort of support you a little bit, which is nice. And again, nice and big, so you can put hand warmers or anything, you know, that you may need to carry in there. Nice and warm. It fits really nice, like a sort of bomber jacket fit. Again, bold colour. They do that in other colours as well, like a, a navy. Um, and do they do any other colours? No, just the blue and the navy, but a really nice jacket, nice and warm. And again, it's got that sort of stretch in it. So it's gonna be able to, you're gonna be able to play golf in it basically as well, which is a little bit of a struggle with some jackets because they're too restricting, but this is not. Now let's move on to another sort of big style brand. They come from sort of, you know, the high street, I think they started as suit makers actually, um, in Oscar Jacobson. Now I've been a fan of theirs for a while. Um, obviously recently I've kind of played into more of the, the sporty style of clothes and stuff like that. Um, but these, uh, these guys are a really sort of clean classic look that I do really love. Um, and every now and again I will wear one I want to look proper, like a proper, proper golfer. So first of all, uh, we have the polo, one of their polos here. Now this is called the Chap. Um, polo we've got again we've got lots of stretch in it so it's I think 85% um, polyester and 15% elastic so you've got the stretch in there to get you a nice fit I've got this in the small they do um, come in extra small I think they're just a little bit tricky to get hold of so nice and clean and classic really nice colors they've got here you know you've got a big sort of cut collar that works really well their new sort of course logo which are a big fan of on the sort of the left shoulder on the sleeve there and then you've got the uh, logo on the back there as well sort of nice thick plaid there it's nice and cool really gonna you know wick moisture away from you but it's just a really classic clean looking top comfortable um, really easy to maintain you know they use sort of an, an anti crinkle sort of um, yarn in there as well so it's easy to maintain like i said nice detailing on the bot on the buns so i've got the oscar jacobson uh, name on there as well and it's just a really nice sort of classic clean look i kind of put these guys up there you know they've got the the addy pure kind of look you know that really sharp um modern but you know it's got that classic feel very you can tell they you know they come from the, the high street brand of making suits and shirts and stuff like that really just simple but good so moving into one of their sort of jumpers i would say this is the heron 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 yep yeah. um which is a sort of a mer an ultra fine merino wool jumper so really nice really good quality i really like this colorway uh, it's a kind of a, a ready peachy same in the shirt works really well Again, nice and understated, nothing on there apart from on the sleeve there you've got, if I can, you know, show that to you. You've got the logo etched in there, sort of the same colour. This is awkward, there we go. Sort of the same colour as um, the top, so, you know, you can't see it. You've got an extra, you've got double knit on the collar just to keep you a little bit warmer. You've got this. Just covering the zip as well, a little flap to cover the zip so everything stays nice and seen. Nice little leather bound um, sort of tag on the zip there and a nice silver zip. Really nice. I've got this in the extra small and it fits like a dream. It fits so nice. Um, you know, on those sort of summer mornings when it's a little bit chilly um, or in the evening when it's getting a little bit colder, this is going to be perfect. Like again, really high quality materials. Really clean, classic look. You've got the the sort of elasticated 
cuffs um, and around the waist as well just to nip it in a little bit but this is one of my favourite jumpers again they come in all sort of colours with um, Oscar they do six nine different colours in this you know same for the tops and same for everything nothing too out there just really sleek looking stuff and we're going to move on to their last top as well and this is the Hawks um, course quarter zip so same zip so the zip again on this one is a slightly darker finish sort of a a brushed chrome rather than a really shiny chrome like the other one was this is you know double knit sort of cotton is it cotton let's have a look doesn't say it does where is it so 50% polyester so 50% cotton so again you've got the nice cotton feel and you've got that stretch as well so you, the best of both worlds as you could say you've got the course logo across the top there but huge fan of that really like the course logo really clean classic lovely again you've got the logo on the back and you've got it on the sleeves as well they're standard detailing on the sleeves nice high collar this is a soft collar um, again it is double knit so you've got that warmth as well and as you can probably tell you've got it just cut in as well um, so it hugs you a little bit more than if it was just a, a simple panel there but you've got the seams there so it is cut a little bit for a more modern fit again elasticated cuffs and elasticated waistband and another top that you know in the summer you can wear in the mornings in the evenings when it gets a little bit cooler or you can double those up as well they do lots of a new layering system as well called the zipping um, layering system I haven't got any of that because um, it's more sort of autumn winter stuff but if I can get my hands on some of that I will but it's a really nice um, way of putting windproofs and waterproofs and sort of different layers together and they zip into each other so you can you know like a double coat of duvet if that makes sense so you've got a two you can put together and wear very complicated without actually showing you but really nice stuff from them at some point maybe possibly I could be going to see those guys and talk a little bit more about there and sort of where they came from because like I said they originally made suits and they're definitely down the tailoring line and you can see that in all of their clothes that it looks really really sleek and stylish so guys that is it for this week's Thursday threads two really sort of style conscious brands there one sort of both ends of the spectrum the bold guys uh, at bunker mentality but keeping it cleaning um sort of beautiful lines and then you've got the oscar jacobson 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 not 100 percent sure you know people call it different things anyway you've got those guys that are you know very much suit and uh suit and trousers kind of clean lines simple colors just a little bit of detail in here and there and amazing amazing materials that they use to make their stuff so if you like the look of any of that definitely go and check it out for yourself and go and buy some of that stuff i will leave the links to the description links to descriptions i will leave the links to the websites below and until next time guys whoosh.